Be sure not to step any further downstage or the backdrop will smack you in the head when it flies in. Roger that. Detective Beckett, do you have news about Justin's case? We do. We now believe that Justin was killed because of a video that he acted in. A video? It was made for an organization called EHI, and it just so happens it was edited by Con Post Production. Con Post? Pam, isn't that where your day job is? Yeah, but I don't know about any video. We think you do. And when you saw the video, you saw an opportunity. Pam, we checked your credit card. We know that you just bought a flip phone. <sighs> so? So just before Justin died, he was texting someone on a flip phone, presumably his killer. When we looked into the phone records, there were texts, supposedly from EHI to Justin, offering him $5,000 to reprise his role in that video. I'm betting that you gave Justin that phone. Probably told him someone from EHI dropped by, wanted him to have it. But it wasn't EHI that sent those texts. It was you. You lured him to that hotel, and then you killed him. Wait, this is crazy. Justin was my friend. Why would I do that? We checked your background, Pam. One of the men that was killed in that EHI sweat lodge initiation was Alan Clark, your brother. EHI was to blame, but no one was held accountable. His death was ruled accidental. And when you watched that video, you realized you had the perfect chance to take them down. But you knew that you needed Justin in order to pull it off, so you found a way to get close to him. Oh my god, that's why you joined our theater company. Pam, what did you do? You don't understand. I had to do it for Alan. For the others, those monsters had to be stopped. By killing an innocent man? Justin was not innocent. He was one of them. He was just an actor, hired for the day. Then why did he stonewall me when I tried to talk to him about it? They are all accountable. Somebody had to stop them. Somebody had to show the world what they really are. Pam, turn around. You're under arrest.